Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna do explain solar system and stuff like that. Well, if you heard of the global warming video, yeah, if you heard that, please, I'll leave a link down below where it is. In the description below, we'll link it. I don't know. So, today, our topic is the solar system. A solar system is a mass of planets orbiting a star. And we have our own solar system. Some solar systems consist of three stars and three stars. So Three planets, two planets, ten planets, eight planets, something like that. They all consist of that. And, well, we we live in an eight. Some solar systems are like, you know, the binary stuff where they will orbit around these two stars. They could be possibly neutron stars or just basic stars that you know or yeah like something like that it would be cool though to live in a planet that has two stars suns orbiting it uh, yeah something like that so our solar system consists of eight planets the b the first being mercury and the last being Nep uh, uranus a uh, Pl pluto yeah Pluto is officially the dark planet, so Uranus took Pluto's place. I still consider in my heart that Pluto is a planet, so don't listen to that. Pluto is a planet, no matter what they say. What they say about Pluto, it's still a planet. It's not an asteroid or anything. It's perfectly circle. So the solar system is the bunch of planets i'll be talking about their history and how solar systems form so at so how do solar systems form first off if a sun well how first let's talk about how a sun is born but by well, supernova and then the clouds of dust and solar stuffing as solar stuff or some mixed hydrogen too uh, w they will start colliding co together and they will start bunching up and form a hot star well that basically means it's a sun born so that sun will go on billions of a journey will try to find any planet that they they will come across once they found a planet they will try to capture it by the gravity of the sun it will pull the planet to the sun well because of its intense gravity in the core inside is where it burns the gravity burns some hydrogen and some blah 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 hydrogen turns into helium uh, hydrogen turns into helium then all of those stuff until it no longer no, no longer can burn and turn into iron which the sun cannot burn so yeah like something like that when that happens when a sun gives a uh, was born it will capture planets and that means a solar system now we're gonna talk about how a planet is formed a planet which is just a circle uh, i'll just say just a rocky spear that just has a hot core and some basic mantle and nothing else that's what i call it well these planets are also formed by the dust formed by 
other suns or maybe two asteroids colliding co together wonder how earth is formed yeah something like that these asteroids start colliding together then done there's your earth then some earth-like planet collided with earth and then it just shred off lots of pieces then that piece just float around earth for a few billion years and then finally clumped up to turn the moon like that so simple the earth started to form from hell into something that organisms can actually live then there's a single organ single cell organism they're smart but then they turned into double uh, multi-cell organism like plants animals like that we're animals too but we're a different animal because we have smart brains and we're the only first creature to take take management of the freaking world or earth well now we're going to talk about jupiter i just want to talk about this because there's an interesting fact about this jupiter well jupiter you see a gas giant yeah it's so helpful to earth earth why would you say so helpful to earth yeah it protected it from asteroids from its birth age where it will just instead of the well the harmful asteroids hitting the earth the something like that jupiter acts like a barrier and then jupiter takes all the hits from the asteroid the bad asteroid only the asteroids with water only hit earth because they're too small to hit jupiter this is the history of our solar system and the planets now we're moving on to venus the sister of earth venus venus is the sister of earth which is a hell ish planet because it's so hot that it reaches 250 degrees fahrenheit and yeah so like that oh no it's hot you're gonna become toast bread if you walk there without any clothes if you go there without any something that protects you from the heat yeah even if you remove your clothes and stay naked there you would still feel the intense heat there's no because there's no cold stuffing it's yeah, just cold stuff so that you'll just turn into fried chicken or fried human that's the hottest planet in the whole freaking world or in the whole galaxy universe that's a little bit of brief history from our solar system kind of interesting but yeah it's an interesting story one more thing it, pluto is not a dwarf planet it's considered dwarf planet because it's super small but i'll i'll just tell you it's not a dwarf planet what's a dwarf planet is something like an asteroid that's almost perfectly circle and something that also has a core inside the hot core that's a planet but dwarf planets well they have small cores and stuff like that 10 billions of years now because if 10 billion years has been reached our sun becomes so big that it will toast earth if we w want to survive that we have to move to another planet like that or 
we die. Seems pretty scary. But it's true. It's far, far away from us, so don't be scared. It's just a billion years. That's not so close. So, that's a fact that I know. <laughs> Our solar system has been older than 3 billion years. That's another fact. The, the atmosphere of Earth before when it, it was hell-ish. Well, the water didn't actually evaporate from the volcanoes that was erupting from Earth. It was cold as ice. The last fact that I'll tell you is that the, the dust, space dust from the space, from space, is actually in Earth. So, maybe these dirty dusts in your house that you always get angry about is maybe from space. Who knows? Maybe some space dust just f fell into your house. Well, still, it's dirty and you don't want it being in your house. Or maybe you want it. Just, you know, you don't know when. So, this is kind of short video. So, I'll make it longer. So, before I end this video, I wanted to say that we're... Road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, all of you. You had re made me reach 1K subscribers. Almost. Just almost. Just like 99 more. I am 1,000 and I am qualified. Yeah. So, help me get that. Road to 1,000. And help me become a successful YouTuber. If you want. To help. Click that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Don't miss any videos. Hit the like button. Oh yeah. I forgot. Hmm. Shout out to Nanay Pinyay. In Sorgao. Shout out to Mommy Norma. Shout to Daddy Manuel Poggy uh, or Handsome because he's really handsome. And to my uncles and aunties, to all of my cons cousins, both my father and mother's side. I miss you all and I love you all. Thank you so much. And this is the official end.